In May 2022 alone, 11 new jobs were posted at Maxis for Sims and Sims 4 gameplay. With phrases like socially driven content, Sims lore, and thank goodness quality assurance all on the table, could these new team members build into a new era for Sims 4 base game improvements, or will the focus be on acting as a guide for beginners or new players? With years of Sims 4 content and growing concerns after the Sims 4 wedding pack, these job listings could provide some interesting insights for what we could predict. Before we get started, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, a series of investigative videos, and occasionally other content like challenges, stories, or Sims 4 CC and mods. And my question for you today is, what do you predict for the future of Sims 4, and do you think a potential Sims 5 release could somehow overlap with Sims 4? So I'll leave the links to the individual job postings, and I will actually be focusing on just a few of them that I think are very interesting in terms of Sims 4 development and gameplay. But first, I was interested to see how they're advertising for jobs now and the people they're trying to attract. They're emphasizing unconventional backgrounds, unique points of view, twists on experience, lives lived, methods to your magic, and visionary attitudes. So I did notice this rebranding, and it's not brand new, but I think it is important to note. Might mean something, might not mean something. We talked about this in a past video, but they are looking to bring in people not just from the gaming industry, but also outside industries, such as people who have worked with fashion, architecture, etc. So just to give you a brief idea of all the new jobs posted, again, I'm not going to be going over each individually, but here's what they're hiring for. So in May of 2022, they posted job openings for a narrative producer, a game designer, a software engineer, a quality designer, contract game designer, lighting artist, senior experience designer, contract web designer, core game engineer, contract character artist, and contract game designer. Now, a few theories as to why there are so many new jobs in one month alone, and none of these I can confirm, I just want to go over them. So for one, it could be just simple employee turnover, replacing old jobs. For another, they could be expanding their resources, or more likely, they could be focusing their resources on other things, because as I have covered many times, they have recently outsourced a large portion of their quality assurance teams, which I definitely do not think is a positive thing. And of course, there could be team members transitioning from Sims 4 to a potential Sims 5, and they need to fill in those spots. As a narrative producer of Maxis, you will focus on the writing needs for the game. Creative writing, localization partnership, the Sims lore, which I think is very interesting, and ensuring their on-time delivery while meeting standards for quality. And then you can read the listings for yourself for the responsibilities. Now, something I think is really interesting about this is, of course, The Sims lore. Now, in the recent update for The Goth Family, which I know was very controversial, a lot of people are focusing on the physical appearance. And unfortunately, it seems like The Sims team also focused on the physical appearance. Physical appearance changes aside, I was really hoping with this lore update with the NPCs, they would do things like add likes and dislikes, add relationships, add some more interest to these families. And in fact, if you want an in-depth video about the update, I definitely recommend you checking out English Simmer's video. I will leave the link to our video below because she kind of goes in and explains what she expected from the update and we pretty much agree on that. So I personally would like to see some more lore in The Sims. I think it's something that Sims 4 really lacks, and I was hoping with the NPC update they would do so. So that's why I thought this job description was interesting. They also said it pushed boundaries in telling inclusive human stories through game systems, so that's pretty vague, could mean anything. You will work with designers and other internal partners to craft NPCs' backstories. So it's really interesting because, in my opinion, the NPC update so far hasn't really done that. Now, I'm wondering if they're going to do that for future packs, you know, trying to do a little bit more with the lore. I will say expansion packs such as Snowy Escape and Cottage Living, in my opinion, at least did better than previous packs and kind of trying to establish some kind of storylines going on. So that will be interesting. And then it's also a question of how much of this could also tie into something like scenarios for The Sims 4. So the next one is a game designer. As a designer in The Sims, you will, and actually this one is for The Sims, not The Sims 4, don't know if that's meaningful, you will work with a team of enthusiastic industry craftsmen people of all walks of life. You will use your passion and knowledge to design player-first experiences that surprise, delight, and invite millions of Simmers. Always love that. 
improve designs based on play tests, game metrics, and input. So obviously they are always looking at metrics and seeing how many people are playing, how much they're actively involved. My theory on scenarios, I don't have a problem with them, but I do think it's a way to drive up engagement during a certain point of time. As far as play tests, I definitely think we need some more follow up because I don't think the problem is that they aren't play testing things. I think the problem is that they aren't actually allowing time to go and use resources to fix the actual problems. So I do find that interesting. This again is kind of a standard, but also very important job description right here. And because it does say The Sims, it is unclear if it is for The Sims 4, if it is for a future Sims 5, or maybe it's just they kind of work within the franchise because technically speaking, The Sims does include Sims Mobile, Sims Freeplay, etc. Personally, I think it is either for Sims 4 or for Sims 5. And then we have this very interesting one. Hopefully you stay tuned for this one because I think this is the one that might stir the most interest. And this is a senior experience designer on social for The Sims. You'll help envision and implement how players socialize, connect, and are inspired on our platform. Reporting to the development director for design, you'll work with a multidisciplinary team of enthusiastic craftsmen, people, etc., etc. So let's scroll down right here and it says, you will drive user-centered design processes to deliver world-class design solutions. But the thing that is important here, or interesting, I guess, is you will champion the holistic vision for core social experiences through development principles. So social experiences. Now it does specifically mention scenarios and it also says personas and then partnering with the XD director and creative director to inform overall product vision. Now again, these are job descriptions. They're always going to be vague, but it is again interesting to see that we're really focused on social experiences. Now I do know there's probably going to be some speculation that this means, oh, it's an online mode or an online only game. And I think honestly, in the future, especially since they talk about different platforms, although again, we already are on different platforms, I do think it is possible we're going to get an online mode. But again, my opinion is there's not going to be an online only since 5. That's just my opinion. I've talked about it in previous videos. And again here, it says The Sims. So is it for The Sims 4? Is it for The Sims 5? It's unclear. It doesn't mean that any of this stuff is a bad in a nutshell. It's just how much of the direction and the resources are going towards this. I think some people really enjoy the social aspects. I think they enjoyed scenarios, etc. But it doesn't make for a substantial gain, in my opinion. So I do think it's clear that they're hiring for both Sims 4 and potentially another Sims game. But regardless, there definitely are more job openings. Now, what does this mean? I know this is all vague, but I still think it's really important to keep in touch with. Number one, I think it's really important to pay attention to what they're emphasizing. Again, like the social interactions, things like that. But on the other hand, I also think by looking at these job postings, we can kind of see what's going on a little bit in the company. And there's a lot that could potentially be going on in the company. Check out my last video if you missed it, because there could be some really big changes coming to EA. But I digress. I think that some of this could be positive, some of it could be negative. It's just so vague because we don't have the details. So on the note, I am going to let you go. I'm sorry this wasn't super informative, but I always think it's important to kind of pay attention to what's going on, like I said, because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And the best way to do so is just to pay attention to news, resources, and job postings and how they're marketing the game not just to simmers, but also to whom they're trying to attract. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.